Hello everybody and welcome back to Atelier Meruru. Last video we came into the Modus Ruins and we made our way through the dungeon before taking on the Wyvern, which is a boss type enemy lurking in this area. And we have had this development quest for quite some time, just when Sturk uh, came into the game. And we haven't been able to really take on the challenge until now. The Wyvern's very tough. He's level 50, and I do believe it's got around 10,000 HP. So there's a couple of things that have changed since the last time I did a recording. I went to go and fight this enemy, and I realized I had forgotten a bunch of items in my container back at the workshop. So I actually just reloaded, uh, went back to the workshop, and while I was there, I picked up my items I had forgotten, but I also went and I synthesized a whole bunch more. I also bought some stuff from Pamela. And I'm pretty much ridiculously over-prepared in hopes that I will definitely be able to beat this wyvern. Uh, absolutely no problem. So I'm about two weeks in-game further than where I was the last time I left off. I also got Gino to level 35, which is important because he learns uh, his special ability. And we're probably going to get the chance to demonstrate that both with Sturk and Gino in this battle. Which is going to be awesome because it's capable of dealing tons of damage. And this is a tough boss, so it's going to um, really help us out. Without any further ado, I say that we just go ahead and uh, we get started. noticed us. Don't worry, princess. I'll protect you. So this guy's got quite the dramatic entrance and also super awesome boss music. I love all of the battle music in this game, but the boss themes are especially cool, so I'm really pumped about that. The Wyvern is a dragon enemy, so he is going to be weak to lightning attacks, and that is the main reason that I have brought Sturk along. On the bottom part of the screen, on the left hand side of Sturk and Gino's portraits is their special ability gauge. And once that charges up, we're going to be able to use their special moves. That won't be for a little while though, so let's just get started. It's good to have lightning bombs for this battle with Meruru or meteors, or anything that gives you lightning abilities of any kind. And this is going to be a battle of essentially outlasting the boss. It's a very interesting battle. The Wyvern himself is not difficult to beat, however the way that this boss battle goes down makes it extremely frustrating and difficult. So with Gino, I like to start by taking away the enemy's attack so he doesn't do as much damage, which I feel is rather important. With Meruru, of course, I'm just going to do the usual item throwing, healing, and whatnot. As, as much as I can, anyways. With Sturk, I'm going to be using primarily his skills, uh, because he's got a lot of lightning skills, and which is going to do tons of damage. I've also brought along some healing items that not only heal HP, but they also heal MP. Because he's probably going to run out of MP really, really quickly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's use this. Although, even though every time I come into this battle, I'm still not 100% confident I can beat it because I find that some of this is based upon luck. It just really depends on what the boss decides to do. He's got a few abilities. He can poison you. He uh, can swoop down and do a large scale party attack, which 
hurts a lot. Although if you do have a uh, Sterk or a Gino or whoever you, you're using guard you, then obviously that's going to make things a lot easier. I've gone ahead and I have buffed Gino. Now, Sterk is poisoned, so I'm going to have to try and keep his Experience HP up as much as I possibly can. Because if he dies, I'm going to be taking away a lot of my damage potential. It's really going to help that Gino is going to be able to heal uh, every single turn. And as long as I keep up with the healing items on Meruru, it should make my life a whole lot easier. And I'm not going to be shy of using items. In a battle like this, where you're going up against a really tough enemy, you basically just want to pull out all that you have and try and kill it as much in the shortest amount of time possible, and that's pretty much a recommend, recommended strategy. A scratch, a scratch. You can see here that we haven't done much damage yet, so we need to keep on working on the damage potential, if we can. I also need to heal Geno's poison. And rinse and repeat. I probably won't have commentary for this whole boss battle because it's a pretty long boss battle. So it uses that breath attack which is multi-targeting uh, fire based and I think Gino's able to use a special ability which is awesome I'm looking forward to that I'm also going to use a monster pot for the heck of it I don't think we've seen a monster pot yet okay, it basically summons a monster for you and attacks and it does substantial amounts of damage it did about 500 damage there which is crazy it's a lot more than what I was doing before so that really helped. We're almost at half. Halfway. I'm gonna have to heal Sturk's MP soon. But, let's use Gino's special attack and let him wail on this boss. Did you see how fast Gino absolutely destroyed the Wyvern? That's why I recommend being a bit of a higher level when you attempt this, because if you have special abilities, it makes this battle so much easier. And I'm actually very surprised that the Wyvern is going very easy. He's making this very easy for me, so I'm getting very lucky here. He's going to use this attack called Calling. Now, he uses this a lot earlier, usually within three turns, I find. What he's going to do is he's going to take off somewhere. And he's going to call a bunch of cronies, the guardians. Uh, we fought them in the runes. They're very tough, and he always sends three of them. So you need to be wary about that. So you basically want to make your best attempt to take these guys out ASAP. Because the longer that the dragon is in the air, the more dangerous that he is. Because he will swoop down and cause damage on top of these enemies causing damage as well. Which can be very frustrating. And like I said, the Wyvern himself really isn't difficult to deal with. It's not the Wyvern that's the problem. I find most of the time it's actually the Guardians that cause the problem because they're such a huge pain in the ass. So I'm going to use some Meteors to get rid of them as fast as I can because they're just irritating. I'm here. And that should take care of a few of them. And then the Wyvern's going to use this attack called Grave Rider, where he swoops down and causes massive amounts of damage to your party. I would say that's most likely, in my mind, the most damaging attack that he has, 
And so that's why it's really important to ensure that uh, you try to take care of these guys as soon as you can. And Sturk's a little bit hurt, so let's uh, heal him. He has a special uh, ability as well, so we need to make sure that he doesn't die so he can actually have a chance to use that on the boss. And if not, then I guess that's okay. I still fairly confident I'll win anyways. Now luckily, some items, like the Meteor, will keep uh, using itself, I guess, or it'll keep going until it's run out. So it's really nice because it will put the items in the time slots, and so it gives you kind of like a periodic heal, which is really, really sweet. I really like that. So that kind of helps me a little bit. Although we're in a little bit of trouble here. Let's heal Sturk up, get his MP up as well with this. With this. And we should be able to take care of the last guardian. And when the wyvern comes down and he returns, the other thing that's really difficult and really frustrating about this battle is that he heals every single time that he comes back. He usually heals 500 every single time. Time to get serious. But he's almost done, um, so if he, as long as he doesn't go up in the air again right away, I should be fine. And I should use this turn to heal, although I do want to do damage. Let's heal Stork again. Oh, see, and then I, uh, I totally jinxed it. And then he disappears and calls out more enemies. I don't think I've ever actually ever had that happen where he's done that, you know, twice in a row. But he tends to do that more when his HP is uh, a little bit lower. He flies up and hides a lot more. So I guess he can kind of just, you know, sense that uh, his end is near. So I'm gonna pretty much give it all that I've got. I've still got that special ability, which I hope I can actually get a chance to use. That would be awesome. At some point, if that dragon would stop disappearing on me. And I've got Genos too. Oh man, this is perfect. This is actually lining up to be a really awesome boss battle. I don't think that I've ever done this battle and had this actually be this intense. Which is great. My knighthood is fulfilled. Let's see. To get rid of these guys, because I'm sick of looking at them. Let's uh let's use Falcon Wind. Everything in this single strike. Falcon Wind! And I could probably get rid of him. But I I should really keep healing with Meru. That's my problem, is I never wanna heal with her, I always want to keep attacking the enemy, but then I get in these situations where I get into a, a lot of trouble because all of my party members are low on HP. Meru herself is kind of low on HP actually, but that shouldn't be a problem. Gino and Sturk are both going to have the opportunity to attack this guy and hopefully kill him with both of their special moves. You can see combined, he's healed 1000 HP since the last time I've had a chance to even hit him, and he's almost back up to half health. This ends now! You are about to witness my transcendent power! My blade, the earth, the sky, the sea, and stars! Flash in the dark, cut them down! Slice them all! This battle shall be engraved in my farewell, my rival. You see, this is the 5,000 experience. 
1,000 gold, gonna gain some levels, and hopefully we get some awesome drops as well. So, we definitely want to get the Rainbow Fragment. Pick up as many Rainbow Fragments as you can if you ever see them. And there's a couple of other good drops in here. Uh, Black Ore is definitely worth picking up. Wyvern Claws. Uh, and this uh, Lance is a weapon for Mimi if you are using her or you don't have an upgraded weapon for her. Over? I guess we finally defeated him. I'm just glad I was able to help. Princess Meruru, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Don't worry about me. But, Mr. Sturt, you're really strong. It's just my training as a knight. I suppose I should ask you to consider me your knight from now on. Uh, okay. I guess I'll be counting on you, but still... It's really scary to think how that dragon could have come to town. I hope we can move on with developing again. Like I said, I don't think that battle has ever gone any better than it did. Uh, nobody died, I had a lot of items in stock, and uh, he tried to escape, but there was no escape. We absolutely fried that guy. So, now that we've taken care of that, my bag is completely full, so I'm going to need to go back to Arl's. We got our 80 development points from that, which is absolutely huge. And uh, now we can work on some more of our development tasks that we have in our library. There's a few more items we need to make for Handle Forest and the Arles Mine. We have a couple of letters waiting for us back in Arles. And uh, we're just going to continue on from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that super intense battle and hopefully there are more to come. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.